Here's the ultimate list of the top 10 most beautiful female movie stars of the 80s. And apart from liking this video and subscribing to our channel, let's just skip the BS and get right into the good stuff. Starting off at number 10, we have the one and only Demi Moore. Now here's a fun fact, her real first name is Demetria, but hey, Demi definitely rolls off the tongue easier, and who am I to argue with a woman who charmed us in films like Ghost, A Few Good Men, and of course, St. Elmo's Fire. Jessica Lange, our number nine, is the kind of woman who would walk into a room and have everyone thinking, wow, I probably should have dressed better. Her performance in Tootsie alongside Dustin Hoffman showed us that beauty and comedic timing can coexist. She took home an Oscar for that role, proving that stunning looks and talent aren't mutually exclusive. At number eight, we're time traveling with Leah Thompson. Now, before she was a changing history in Back to the Future, Leah was a ballet dancer, but apparently her body was wrong for ballet. Funny, her body seemed just right for Hollywood. I mean, even Howard the Duck liked her. And that's gotta count for something. In seventh place, we have the delightfully charming Sally Field. From Norma Ray to Steel Magnolia, Sally's powerful performances left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Also, she's possibly the only person in the world who can proudly claim that she was romantically pursued by a frog in Smokey and the Bandit. Talk about being universally attractive. Wait, she was pursued by a frog? Hmm. Number six brings us to Sigourney Weaver, the sci-fi queen herself. In Aliens, she showed us that you can battle extraterrestrial beings and still look fantastic doing it. Really, I mean, who else could pull off a power loader suit and still manage to keep her hair perfectly feathered? And let's not forget her role in Ghostbusters! Jamie Lee Curtis swoops into the number five spot with her girl next door good looks and versatile acting chops. Whether she was running from Michael Myers in Halloween or trading places with Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd, she exuded a natural beauty that was both accessible and captivating. At number four, we have Kim Bassinger, the Bond girl who outshone 007 himself in Never Say Never Again. And sure, Sean Connery is a tough act to follow, but let's be honest, who remembers anything about that movie other than Kim's mesmerizing performance? Meg Ryan, the queen of romantic comedies, graces us at number three. With her cute-as-a-button charm and relatability, she stole our hearts in When Harry Met Sally. Meg proved that being adorable and beautiful are not mutually exclusive traits. At number two, we have the incomparable Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle's performances in Scarface and Dangerous Liaisons alone would be enough to land her on this list. But then she had to go and play Catwoman, making us all question whether we should be scared of her or attracted to her. Nah, who am I kidding? It was definitely both. And finally, we have our number one spot, and that goes to the one and only Bo Derrick. After her beach run in 10, every woman wanted her hairstyle and every man wanted her telephone number. Bo embodied the allure of the 80s like no one else, becoming the standard against which all other beauties were compared. Okay, listen, I've laid out all my cards on the table and I'm sure some of you have already geared up your keyboards to fight me on this. And you know what? I welcome it. If you think Michelle Pfeiffer should have taken the top spot or that Meg Ryan should have gotten unfairly sidelined, let me have it in the comments below. Go on, I dare you. Throw your favorite 80s icon into the mix. I'm ready, popcorn in hand, and I can't wait to see what you've got. Let's do this. Oh, and please subscribe.